Hi, my name is Steve Cordero. I'm from Acrobat Enterprise Support. Welcome to IT Tips and Tricks. Welcome to the Adobe Customization Wizard 11 for Mac OS X. Let's open the Adobe Customization Wizard. The Adobe Customization Wizard gives information technology, IT administrators, the ability to customize Acrobat's installation setting prior to organization-wide deployment. Locate the installer, click the Browse button, and I've placed it on the desktop. And we need to provide the serial number. And these are some standard items that most enterprises or large organizations are going to want to do. Accept the end user license agreement. Disable registration. You may or may not want to disable PDF rendering in the browsers. In this case, we're not going to do that. Grant offline exception. This is something that is checked by default. And this option is used by the administrator to create a package which can be deployed on machines which are permanently offline but still require activated Acrobat. If this checkbox is selected, activation attempts will be made, but they need not succeed in order for the application to continue running. Enable feature lockdown, and then choose AP lists or preference file. And we've got one created here, and I'll open that up. And we can actually show you what it is in here. And what it does is it disables the JavaScript method by a blacklist app.alert so any alert boxes that pop up and let's click the open button there and now we're set up to create a package click OK and now you can provide a name for it and we're going to provide a name and this portion is very important you need to provide a lowercase file extension. Um, one, because if you don't provide the file extension, then it will be considered a text file. And two, it needs to be lowercase because uh, the installer that's in Mac OS X wants to see the lowercase pkg file extension. So let's click Save and let the Customization Wizard build the installer. Success. The output package has been created successfully. If there are any issues, the Adobe Customization Wizard 11 creates a log file located at library logs adobe custwiz.log. And now for the test. Let's install the customized package that we just created. And continue and install. We need to provide the administrator password to install. Installation was successful. The software is installed. Click close. And now let's go back to applications. And there we have Adobe Acrobat Pro installed, and let's launch. And we get the pop-up. Adobe Acrobat Pro is not currently configured to be the default application for PDF files. Would you like to make PDF files open with Adobe Acrobat Pro instead of Preview? And in this case, we want to say yes. And you'll notice we did not get the EULA, we did not get the registration, and we are now set up. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.